Hello, my name is Rob Anders. My people are the Trawal Way people from Tembrakuna country in what we now know as being the Cape Cortland area of North East Tasmania. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm on the land of the Mohanema people and I'd like to pay my respects to them. I also want to acknowledge other Aboriginal people. I want to acknowledge their elders, those that have come before us, those that are with us and those are, who are emerging. And I also would like to acknowledge other Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people. The country that I'm on is the country of the Mohanena people. Their lands surround what is now known as Hobart down in southern Tasmania. And behind me is the Great Spirit River, Timultamininye, or as we now know it, the River Derwent. It's a great river, the Great Spirit River. That river goes, goes from the sea up through the valleys, through the hills, and penetrates deep into the interior of our island, where it comes from Lake St. Clair. Sitting on the banks of Timutaminye, I'm here on country, and I can see the evidence of where our old people once used to live and used to occupy their space. I'd like to acknowledge that they no longer are with us as they were unable to survive the onslaught of colonisation and the actions that followed. I'd also like to acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded, nor were our rights. I'd like to think about those people and our country and to think about how our places are changing. Our ancestors carefully and sustainably managed this landscape for thousands and thousands of generations. It's been a short time since we've had new people on this land and the actions that have followed have seen great change and impact. These impacts we can see from the farming and agriculture, the land clearing, the forestry, to industry, both large and small. And combined, all these impacts are having an impact on climate change that we know is happening. Your conference theme, Thirst for Action, is something that is important to me. And I think about the work that you people are doing. And I think about all the good work that could, can come out of what you're going to be discussing and talking about. The unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in and the world at the moment has given us time to reflect. And I think it's given Mother Earth a valuable period in which to take a deep breath. Your conference theme, thirst for action and water is important. As I think about water, it's life-giving. Timul Tumininye behind me, those waters that snake all the way up, that come from Lake St. Clair, are life-giving. They look after everything. They look after the plants, the mammals, the fish, the birds, and our old people and now us. Water is fundamental for life. Without it, life struggles to exist and we'll be in a much different place. I'd like to acknowledge that access rights to water from everything is for everything. From the plants, to the animals, to the ecosystems that supports and humans, us, that we all have a fundamental right to access water and it shouldn't be controlled or dominated by a few. In closing, I'd like to wish you well for your conference. I know that you're going to do some important work and have some important discussions and I wish you well with those. Thank you.